we got the uh, street glide gonna get some uh new saddle bags five inch stretch i just got them in right there in that box so i'm gonna go ahead and unbox them kind of mock them up just see make sure everything fits good and all that color match if it's not color matched then i'm gonna have to get them repainted but i got a lot of hardware and we'll try to replace a lot of this hardware onto these and uh, i got some other hardware some new stuff right there to go with the rest of the cnc kind of stuff that i got going on so let's get this box opened up and see how they look. Let's see, it looks like they package them very well. I mean, they definitely got them where I feel like they're not gonna get scratched up and everything. Plenty of stuff to protect them. So when I opened that one up, it had the keys in it and it also came with these, which I didn't see anything about that. So I'm wondering if these are like, like skid guards, something you'd put like down here, maybe little skid plates. I'm not sure. Cause I was already looking at buying some to put under here, but what's the purpose of that shape? I do not know. So I'll have to look into that and figure that out. But Obviously, I haven't mocked it up yet, but from the looks of it, it is very, very close. So I'm going to go pull the, uh, the stock ones off and uh, stick these on there. All right, to make sure I say exactly what this is, so when y'all look it up to buy it yourself, if that's what you're looking to do, it is the TCMT, so TCMT matte five inch stretch extended saddle bags um for the 2014 2022 uh street glide i'm sure it probably fits some other models and all that but that's what it is so but uh, i paid 240 bucks for both of these delivered so we're gonna try these babies out let's uh get these off of here also i did replace the mounting hardware instead of the quick little uh factory ones that go in and you just turn about half a turn locks it in they're easy to come out saddlebags can fall off don't really want to do that don't want to run in that situation so i replaced them with these screw in type so it takes a lot for it to uh get to that point <laughs> put those there here's you i guess i could lay them side by side and let you see how they look. Ugh. There. And there. You can tell they're way longer. So that's them. So let's let's go ahead and Stick this on there. I also ordered off of eBay some of these uh, little liner inserts. So we're gonna have some of those. definitely changed the look of this thing for sure well, that is extremely close in color to be honest wow got a guy I'm gonna have him since these are really close just gonna get him to pinstripe to match the pinstriping on the uh, the other ones just give y'all an idea of what you're going to end up gaining. It's about as straight as I can get it. It's pretty much a 10 inch depth all the way with the factory saddlebag. 
and then with the extended, I know it's extended five inches, but we're gonna just double check. So from here, it's exactly the same to that section. It is not a true five inches on the inside. You only gain four inches on that side, even though these are the five inch. It was like a two before. It's not really two inches by four inches, so maybe that's kind of the move they go by because I'm pretty sure the four inch is not that far down from the ones I looked at. What I was wanting is to get it almost level all the way across the bottom is what I was kind of going for. Because the four inches that I've seen are a little higher up than this extension on the rear fender. So I like the way that looks a lot better. Well, there you go. It's only four inches deeper than the stock one. These five inch stretch bags. Well, let's get this other one yanked off, put on there, and then we'll uh, probably go to swapping the hardware over from those. All right, now we're gonna take all this apart. All right, I've got everything changed out. Got my new little uh, lever right here. Looks good right there. Got this factory piece put back on here. Heck yeah. Let's go stick this right here now. Now that we're getting closer having this one done. And there we go. That's with all the hardware swapped over. This new little latch right here. Oh yeah, that looks awesome. I'm loving this. They are installed. Ah. Uh, I think these look so good. Paint is very, very close in color. I mean, you can tell it's, it could be the light hitting a little bit, but, and you know, the more you wipe these, the shinier they get. So it could have just a tiny little bit more sheen on this. So that might be why it's just a little bit shinier, but not really. So that's it, got them installed. Got all the Harley hardware put on there. Definitely you need to look in, I'm gonna link all this stuff, the saddlebags and these the little setups. I like them so much. The other ones just scared me because literally the day I bought the bike, I was riding home and got home and that one right there, the stock one, was loose it was already hanging out so literally had one one left holding it on there so it kind of said scared me pretty bad so we're uh we done swapped that out first thing that was like one of the first things i ordered when i got home with it so we shall see how these work i hope this helps y'all i mean the quality is very nice i have no complaints about that so it's like I said, the quality of these seems very nice. Even the hardware that was on them was nice, but I wanted to get rid of the chrome latch right here. And I'd already had this stuff ordered with all the other stuff, but I wanted like this in here. So I still left all the other main hardware stuff, mechanism and everything in there. All that's still the same. So, but. all right, well, the bags are not on there at the moment because I sent them off to get the pinstripe done so they can kind of match everything. So I got them back. We're going to see how they look. I haven't seen them yet. I'm hoping they are very close in color. Wow, I'm on the struggle bus today. Trying to get these lined up.
pretty close. Let's get this other one on here and see how it looks. Oh yeah. Well, it's on there. We'll see if we can stick these little uh, saddlebag liners in real quick. They've been folded up, so hopefully they'll stretch out right. But if they don't, we've got the little uh, this stuff to put in to keep them kind of double-sided tape up against the sides of the saddlebags. Right, I got all the little sticky stuff in here done, kind of holding it open and everything. This is a, probably about as good as it's going to get, especially with the cold weather right now. But they're okay. Not nothing to brag about right now, but hopefully uh, once it warms up and they, they'll fit a lot smoother in there. But as of right now, it's a lot better. You can stick stuff in there without worrying about them getting scuffed and scratched up up against the hard plastic and everything. So that's them. I'm going to start cramming my stuff back in there. I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10 on my Amazon bags. I have, like I said, no complaints. There may be some bad reviews on them and all that, but I have no complaints. They are very nice. They work great. Definitely would go with those over the ones that are three and four and five times more expensive than those. So, and I'll link all this in the description for y'all to go with and everything. So thanks for watching. We'll see y'all on the next one.